Hey Xander, it's Tuesday, I think. I'm here. I made it, finally. I've been working pretty constantly, but that's still not a good excuse since I've had time to do other things. I don't really have a good excuse at all for taking so long to get around to this, but I'll do better, I promise. Work has been going pretty well overall. I'm feeling more comfortable and like I, I don't have to overthink things while I'm there. I think the biggest problem overall is this mindset I have that my hours outside of work are for mentally recovering from or preparing for my time at work, which, and that usually it involves scrolling the internet or watching something. Normally this is where I say that I'm working on this problem, but I haven't honestly gotten farther than identifying what the deal is. I think we both know that I'm good at saying I'm working on something when I haven't really um, started breaking that habit yet, but I think that it'll be good for me to start making connections with um, people outside of work and getting into regular socialization to, yeah, help me break out of the mindset that there's work and internet, because if that was it, that'd be pretty depressing. I'm interested in your view of art and in the absence of anything else profound in my life to talk about at the moment. I'd like to explore that a little bit more. I'm of the opinion that art can be whatever the heck you want. So of course, a human artist isn't required for someone to connect with and um, even identify with uh, painting or whatever other kind of work of art. Meaning can be found anywhere. Of course, I don't think we should brush over the connection that can be had between an artist and their audience. And I don't think that's what you're doing. I just wanted to expand on that aspect of it. You mentioned briefly the concept of AI synthesizing a data set into one piece of work, whether it's an, a, whole, a whole museum or a genre of art. And like you said, you would, in a way, get to experience the whole of whatever that data set is. And I think that my learning experience has been um, extremely focused on making sure that I see the entire set of data or the entire perspective, the entirety of every perspective, and making sure I get something of everything and completely avoid being biased or focusing too much on one area. I've only recently begun to try to focus on singular experiences or pieces or people and learn to let go of that instinct to withdraw and avoid hearing too much from one person. But there's a lot of value in connecting with something specific. I think the best example I have is with music. Now, I'm not great at branching out or exploring new music tastes, and I definitely didn't do any of that in college. I had basically a bunch of soundtracks for reading and studying to, and then I had one playlist to which I would add whole albums of new music that, I, that was recommended or that I decided I wanted to check out. Sometimes I would end up deleting a song or a bunch of songs that I realized I didn't really care for and I'd end up with partial albums or maybe even just one song from an artist. A couple of the people I have on there are Mumford & Sons, Janelle Monae, uh, the Avett Brothers, and, and recently Fiona Apple. Mid-video camera shift because I had to get my nugs out of the oven. Now, here's the thing. I have barely listened to any Mumford & Sons outside of that one album, Wilder Mind. I haven't listened to any Janelle Monae songs outside of the album Dirty Computer and nothing else from Fiona Apple except her newest album, and barely anything else by the Avett Brothers. I have an album from the band Frightened Rabbit that I absolutely love, and I haven't listened to a single other song that they have. I feel guilty for not listening to more of these artists' work, or for claiming to enjoy folk rock based on the one or two bands that I listen to. And I feel somewhat pressured to get a more holistic sense of this music, to draw back so that I can see or, or hear the bigger picture, or music genre. The thing is, I really like that playlist. Every once in a while, I'll put it on shuffle, which I know you hate. But while it may be an adventure to go from Khalid's Young, Dumb, and Broke to The Wolf by Mumford & Sons, I hardly ever skip a song. I whittled, whittled it down to songs that I know I like and find meaningful. Of course, I don't want to settle for comfortability, but that's not what I'm getting at here. My point is, I listen to that Frightened Rabbit album, Midnight Organ Fight, almost constantly in February and March, for good reasons. I found a lot of meaning and resonated with it, 
maybe a little bit more than was healthy. But I think that that was more valuable for me than thinking I should listen to everything else by this artist and go find other artists that are connected with them and related to get a bigger sense of this music. I also feel like museums are a good example here. I feel an inevitable compulsion to make sure I get through every part of any museum that I go into. And that includes at least glancing at every title card and plaque under a piece to make sure that I properly get the whole experience. Needless to say, there's also a lot of value in stopping in one area or in front of one thing and just spending time there. I think that's what helps us reflect and think about ourselves and other people and connect with humanity. This gets back to the bigger part of what you were talking about. I think that when I search for humanity in an art piece, in a play or script, or a piece of music, I'm looking to share something with the creator. I love reading a book and discovering something about the human that created it, hidden in the way they write. I love just sitting in front of an art piece and considering the moment that inspired it, that this artist realized they needed to create this. A work of art created by an AI isn't inartistic, but if I were dreaming up what kind of humanity was behind something and discovered that it wasn't humanity, I would feel a bit at a loss. Of course, this isn't an argument for or against anything, just an articulation of a feeling that I'm still learning to connect to myself. Xander, I'll see you soon, if I haven't already.